Developing story tonight, three burglary suspects are behind bars in the Hamilton County Jail, and the search is on for a fourth after police say they broke into a Best Buy in Noblesville. RTV6's Derek Thomas reports. All three suspects under arrest are from Detroit, Michigan. Police responded to an alarm at 319 in the morning. Police chased a vehicle that did not have its lights on along rain slicken Noblesville streets. Eventually, the suspect vehicle crashed here near the intersection of Greenfield Avenue and Bowden Road. Neighbors are taken aback about what happened. I mean, that's terrifying. Um, it's crazy that they would drive all the way from Detroit to come down here. Uh, I know it's a nice area, but um, yeah, that's real scary. That's real scary. I could have been on the road. Um, then, you, my, you know, my girlfriend could have been on the road. So. It's pretty scary. Well, Noblesville is a safe town. It seems like it's, it feels unsafe that people would travel to commit crimes. Were they looking for an easy target, what they thought was an easy target? I would assume so if they drove, yeah. 23-year-old Elijah Davis is charged with burglary and resisting law enforcement. 21-year-old Anthony Parker, Jr. faces those same charges as does 25-year-old Nathan Gordy, who is also charged with criminal mischief. While some in the community are concerned about the Detroit connection, others say the looming threat is closer to home. I don't think we have to worry about people from out of state doing it. I think we more have to worry about people in the surrounding areas um, that are closer to here, that it wouldn't take them a couple hours to get here, closer around just a few minutes to get here. That's what we have to really worry about, I think. Police did not say what items were stolen, but did say Best Buy, which is headquartered in Richfield, Minnesota, is concerned. The fourth suspect is still at large. The other three are held on $40,000 bond in the Hamilton County Jail. They'll make their initial court appearance tomorrow. In Noblesville, Derek Thomas, RTV6. Police did not provide much information. They referred all questions to the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office, which was not open today.